other can best be developed during a lifetime spent together. Every day you live together, learn to receive love with as much understanding as you do it. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, love has been your richest and greatest gift to the world. Love between a man and a woman which matures into marriage is one of your most beautiful types of love. Today we rejoice together and we celebrate this love. May your blessings preside over this wedding service, protect and guide and bless Bridget and Michael in their marriage. Together we ask that you surround us with your love now and always. Amen. Amen. Michael and Bridget would like to thank you all for coming out to be a part of this wonderful day. Whether you have traveled from near or far, it's so nice to be able to share the special moments in your lives with the people that you love and cherish. And by you all being here today, shows that you love and care for them as well. Now these two would like to invite everyone to participate in a ring warming ceremony. In a moment I will pass the rings to the back of the church. And as Michael and Bridget's rings are passed around to each of you, please take a moment to warm these rings with your love by offering a silent blessing or a wish for the couple's future before passing the rings along to the next person. These rings will not only be a gift from one another, but they will be given with the love and the wisdom of their family and friends in support of their union. And while I pass the rings around, Someone will be reading a mouthful of forever because you changed on me, Brandy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. To be it's all right, Brandy. It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, do I read my first? Unknown group of Vicky's going to read hers. Microphone, or you want to do it just talking to your I'm friends? I'm just going to talk to my friends. There we go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Mouthful Forevers. I am not the first person you loved, and you're not the first person I looked at in Mouthful Forevers. We both know loss is like the sharp edge of a knife. We both live with lips more scars, tissue, than skin. Our love came unannounced in the middle of the night. Our love came when you've given up asking love to come. I think that this part of this miracle. This is how we heal. I will kiss you like forgiveness. I will hold you like I hope. Your, our arms will bandage and I will press promises between like flowers in a book. I will write sonnets of the salt as sweet of your skin. I will, write, I will write novels to the scar of your nose. I will write a dictionary of all the words I have, using trying to describe the way it feels to finally, finally found you. I will not be afraid of your scars. I know sometimes it's hard to let me see in all of your cracked perfections, but please know, whether it's the days you burn more brilliant than sun, or the nights you collapse in my lap, your broken heart into a thousand questions, you are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I will love you when you're, uh, I'm sorry, I will love you when you are still day, and I will love you when you are. Step over this way, you look a little off for me. There we go. <laughs> Bridget and Michael, together, you stand here ready to begin your new life together. Every day you get to spend together is something so special, and it's these days you share that you should always treasure. From the day you first met to that special something 
you saw when you looked into each other's eyes, to that first kiss. All these moments were leading up to this very special and wonderful day. We know that not every day you spend together will be perfect, but that doesn't make it any less special. And when you understand that having this special person standing next to you in life makes you the beautiful person that you are, then you're beginning to understand marriage. Your marriage relationship offers you the highest and most intimate experience of love. A growing bond of affection, trust, and concern can bring you both into a fuller life than either of you could have achieved alone. As you share with each other your differences, your life together becomes richer and more complete. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes that life is unable to avoid. Marriage encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in a marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise made in the hearts of two people who dearly love each other. Michael, look into her eyes. I'm going to ask you a lot of questions, and then when I'm done talking, you can answer. All right? Michael, do you take Bridget, whose hands you hold, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you accept her with all of her faults and her strengths and offer yourself to her with your own faults and strengths? Will you strive to love and honor her and will you comfort her and be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? And Bridget, do you take Michael, whose hands you hold, to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you accept him with all of his faults and his strengths and offer yourself to him with your own faults and strengths? Will you strive to love and honor him? And will you comfort him and be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? As you two join together in the vows of marriage, you give recognition to the worth and the beauty of love. There are no vows more solemn than those you are about to make, and there is no human institution more sacred than the home you're about to form. Look into her beautiful eyes and repeat after me. I, Michael, take you, Bridget, to be my wedded wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will love you faithfully as I have given you my hand. This ring is a symbol of my love. 
I marry you with this ring, with all that I have, and all that I am. This ring is a symbol of my love. This ring is a symbol of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. Yeah. Alright, now Brandy, it is your time. And this is my favorite point. Destiny. Destiny is a mysterious thing. No matter what you do or where you go, you can't avoid it. And no matter how hard you try, even putting forth your greatest effort, you can't force it to happen before it's time. This occasion we witness today is a destiny of two souls. There is not a force in the universe that could have kept you two apart. And there was nothing they could do Oh, sorry. And there was nothing they could have done to come together sooner. Each of you had lives to live. Lives that were stepping stones that have led to this moment in time. This uniting of hearts and minds shall be forever one. This occasion we celebrate today is destiny of two souls. Yes, destiny is a marvelous and mysterious thing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bow our heads one last time. Lord, we ask you for many things, and we thank you for many things. We ask you to send your blessings down upon Bridget and Michael. We ask that they keep the vow and the covenant between them sacred, and that they remain in perfect love and peace together all the days of their lives. What God has joined together this day, let no man put asunder. Amen. Amen. Michael and Bridget, you have expressed your love and commitment to each other in the presence of your family and friends, and have promised each other joy all the days of your lives. Remember the promises you have made to each other today. Carry them close to your heart, but most of all, live them each and every day. May all that you are always be in love, and may all that is love always be in you. May your love be as beautiful on each day you share as it is on this day of celebration. May you always see and encourage the best in each other. And may you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. May the light of God surround you always. May his light shine on your path for seeing, in your heart for peace, and from your face as a gift to others. So now, by the power vested in me, by the great state of New Mexico, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. Yeah.